Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Going to start a new topic today in solving systems of linear equations. In our last topic, we solved them by graphing. Today, we're not even going to need a graph to find the solution. Instead, we're going to use substitution. So, these are the steps that it takes to solve a system with substitution. And if, if we went over them, it would just confuse you about what exactly needs to be done without seeing how it's done. But the first thing we need to make sure of is that one of the equations is solved for y. What that means is one of the equations needs to be in slope-intercept form. Then you're going to substitute what that y is equal to into the other equation in place of the y, and you're going to solve that equation and find out the value of x. Once you find out the value of x, you're going to take the value of x and substitute it into one of the x's in one of the two original equations to solve for the y value. So let's actually show you what we mean by solving a system of linear equations by substitution. So the first thing I said is make sure one of them is solved for y. And right here you can see this problem says y equals 4x minus 7. So that one solved for y. Then it said take what y is equal to, well y is equal to 4x minus 7, and you're going to substitute it in for y in the other equation. So instead of y, you're going to put in parentheses 4x minus 7 in that spot. So let's write it out with that value substituted in. So I have 2x minus 2. Instead of y, I'm substituting this, what y is equal for. Parenthesis, 4x minus 7, close parentheses, equals 2. Now here's my equation I've got to solve, and I'm going to find a value for x. But first, I've got to distribute. So I write this down, 2x. Negative 2 times 4x is negative 8x. Negative 2 times negative 7 is positive 14 equals 2. Now, I notice I have an x and an x. So I have to combine my like terms on that side of the equal sign. And that gives me negative 6x plus 14 equals 2. Next, I need to get x all by itself. I need to isolate it. So I need to move this number. The inverse of plus 14 is subtract 14. To balance the equation, I've got to do the same thing to the other side of the equation. So bring down my negative 6x. 2 minus 14 is negative 12. I need to divide by the coefficient in front of the x to get x all by itself. Again, balance the equation, and I get x equals negative 12 divided by negative 6 is a positive 2. So in my solution, I already know my x value. My x value is 2, but I need to find my y value. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that x value of 2, and I'm going to put that value of 2 in for x right there in this equation. Now you can plug it into either one. I find it easier to do the one to solve for y. So y equals 4 times, not x, I found out what x is equal to, 4 times 2 minus 7. So y equals 4 times 2 is 8 minus 7. And then 8 minus 7 is 1. So y equals 1. So my solution to that system of linear equations is 2, 1. Systems of linear equations by substitution, it's a lot of math work. But we've already learned how to solve equations. This is all review of stuff. Once we have our equations set out there, all we're doing is finding the values of x. The only thing different is we got to know where we are substituting values in for what. <coughs> All right. Next example. So we have a problem to solve for y. That's the top one. What is y equal to? Well, it's equal to 8x plus 15. And I need to substitute that in 
right here for y. So let's rewrite it out. 4x plus 5, not y, what y is equal to. y is equal to 8x plus 15 equals negative 13. So now I've got to distribute. And I've got 5 times 8x gives me 40x. 5 times 15 gives me 75 equals negative 13. I've got to combine my like terms here. And I've got 44x plus 75 equals negative 13. I want to get the x by itself. So I'm going to take this 75, do its inverse, subtract 75. What I do to one side, I must do to the other. That gives me 44x equals negative 13 minus 75. Gives me negative 88. If you have trouble adding integers that are minus signs and plus signs, always double check that in the calculator. Now, 44x equals negative 88. Divide by that coefficient, and x equals negative 2. So up here in my solution, I already know my x value is negative 2. So now I'm going to take that negative 2 for x and put it in right here for that x. So y equals 8 and instead of x, I'm going to use the value of x times negative 2 plus 15. 8 times negative 2 is negative 16 plus 15. y equals negative 16 plus 15 is negative 1. <coughs> so negative 1 is my y, which gives me a solution then of negative 2, negative 1 for my system of equations. One last example. We'll go through one more example. So this one solved for y. And right here is the value that we're going to substitute in. We're going to substitute that in for y right here in the other equation. So we have 6x plus 3 times, not y, negative 5x plus 16, negative 5x plus 16 equals 12. Now I've got to distribute. So 6x, 3 times negative 5x is negative 15x. 3 times 16 is 48 equals 12. I've got to combine like terms. So 6 minus 15x gives me negative 9x plus 48 equals 12. To get x by itself, I'm moving the 48. So I'm going to do its opposite or inverse. So I'm subtracting 48. Balance the equation. 12 minus 48 gives me a negative 36. Divide by the coefficient in front of x. And x is going to give me negative 36 divided by negative 9, positive 4. <coughs> so in my solution, my x value is positive 4. So to find my y value, I take that x value and I plug it in to x in either one of the equations. Remember, I choose the one that's already solved for y. It just makes it easier. So I'm going to substitute that 4 in for where x is in this equation. So y equals negative 5 times 4 plus 16. y equals, well, negative 5 times 4 is negative 20 plus 16. Negative 20 plus 16 is negative 4. So my solution set to that system of equations is 4, negative 4. All right. 
Substitution can be confusing. What I'm going to ask is go into Google Classroom, give these a try. I only have a few problems assigned as homework. Give these a try. If you get stuck, please rewatch the video. If you're still stuck, reach out to me. I'll help you through it. If you need help, make sure you get a hold of me. We'll see you next time.